morning, welcome back to my channel. My name is Susie and I'm clearly in such a different location. I'm staying in Birmingham in some really cool apartments in the Rotunda building for the weekend. So I thought I'd abuse this sick background. Today I'm gonna be showing you some pieces that I've DIY'd over the years. Hopefully giving you some creative inspiration of what you can do with things you already own. And also giving you some alpha inspiration for this autumn winter season. So the first piece is actually a two-piece set. I had this really big oversized men's, probably large medium top. I really liked it, but I wasn't really wearing it that much and it had a stain on it, so I couldn't really resell it on Depop or anything. So this is the top and I used a top that is very similar in design that fit me as the template and I kept the, all of the graphics in. So sewed the shoulders and down the side and I left these slits on both sides which I really like. I think it just helps make the top look really flattering and um, just a bit different. And I had a lot of access fabric from the t-shirt so I decided to make a matching bandana and I just cut these strips. So I cut one long strip and then a triangle pointy bit and then I just cut along the side. Oh, there's a hair on it. Just cut along the side the kind of shape of the bandana that I'd worn. Again, I sewed it with not red thread. Personally, I don't care about that and I didn't have a sewing machine when making this. So again, I just don't care. I like that handmade effect and it was so simple to do. And I think it looks great matching with this, like the perfect little 90s set. I paired them with these Topshop, very simple blue wash jeans kind of look vintage in the shade of denim that they've done them and they have this sort of distressed bottom detailing and then to match the trousers I wore the same shade in coat with this amazing denim afghan it has really nice like blue and white frosted tipped fur coming out the side obviously fake fur I got this from Depop um, I love this coat to death and I think it works really well with the trousers and then the top just pops with the red and then I wore it with my nine fives. It's kind of remind me of geography teacher vibes, but I'm into it. And I got these from Depop years ago now. Um, yeah, I really love these. And I think the jeans really flatter the shape of these shoes. Moving on to my next DIY, I created a bag. This was my first ever DIY bag. I featured it before I finished it in my Outfits of the Week video. Check that out if you haven't already. I made this denim bag from an old skirt that didn't fit me right, wasn't selling on Depop, nobody wanted it, so it just turned into a bag. I used the shape of a pre-existing bag of mine for the fit. And yeah, sewed a few bits together, made like the lining of it, um, made this flap over the top. So I don't have my sewing machine with me at uni, so I made this by hand. Again, I don't really care about that. It's got loads of sort of messy, different colored stitching coming out. Personally, I don't care about that. I'm into the rugged, handmade, quick and easy DIY kind of look that this bag has. And I have this chain lying around that I made a few years ago from this long chain loop and these like rings that I got separately from eBay and put them together and I was never using it so I thought it would be the perfect strap on the bag. And for accessorizing the bag, I, I don't even know how to explain this, I'm just really into Roman columns so I put on this hand drawn and painted like design of a Roman column, same on the back might be weird but you know you just make something that makes sense to you I just made this and I really like it I feel like people will probably either love or hate it but I'm really into it I think it's a very like tacky ugly weird looking bag very like y2k kind of grossness but I'm really into it 
So with the bag, I paired another DIY piece of mine, which has been featured on my channel before. It's a black and white pinstripe jacket. I got it with matching trousers from a charity shop um, a couple years ago. And the jacket's really oversized on me. The bottoms don't fit, so I'm currently working on turning the bottoms into a skirt or something. So stay tuned for when I probably show that on my channel in an outfit in the future. But yeah, I love this jacket. I spray painted it with my friend in first year of uni with pink and white random bits of detailing all over it. We didn't have a plan, we just went for it and I'm really into it. I love this jacket, so I paired it with the bag. And I paired the jacket with this really sweet top from Depop. This was one of the first things I ever bought on Depop. So this is really old and I just really like it. It's like the stretchy, sort of oriental style top with the crossed over collar and all of that and this beautiful flower embroidery i love this top so much and i think it works really well with the black on black and i paired it with these white silk trousers i'm pretty sure these are from ebay i can't quite remember i've had these for years as well it's just very simple lightweight silky white trousers very simple and then again i wore the same nike mx95 Moving on to my fourth DIY, I have this really cute tie-dye bandeau top that I made in the summer. So this was made up of an old sheet um, and I just cut a bandeau size and then I used the elastic wrappings on the bottom of the sheet as the ties as they are just really stretchy so it didn't really matter what length. Again, this is messy, like this is frayed, this is not sewn amazingly. Again, I don't care about that kind of thing. I'm here for a quick, easy DIY. So I dyed this using different brands hair colors like Bleach London, Crazy Color. So we got some pinks and purples, neon yellow and blues and I just put them in random bits, mixed it in with my hand, put some water over it, blended it over each other just went with it, no plan really. And I'm really happy with the finished product. I think it's really super cute, very summery, but I've tried to make it autumn approved by pairing it with the silk two piece. The trousers are from the last fit and it comes with this matching traditional Chinese style jacket. Again, silk with this amazing dragon embroidery down the side. I got this set years ago. I, I think it must have been from eBay or something. And then I wore them with my amazing Kangol platform shoes. These are some insane um, shoes. I've never seen anything quite like these. I bought them off my friend Christabel. And I finished the outfit off with this black bag. This is in pretty much every one of my videos on YouTube. I'm obsessed with this bag. Moving on to my final DIY, I'm obsessed with these. I think they're my favorite DIY I've ever done. They are these pair of flared white jeans. So I had two pairs of white jeans, both didn't fit me right. And I combined them together. I kept the fit around the waist of one of them and then made panels using the other one, which I sewed outwardly. So as you can see, there's like all the sewed bits are frayed and like coming out, did that on purpose. 
And I wore these jeans with a top that is also DIY. -ed. It's this super cute little top. I got this from eBay years ago. I'm obsessed with it. It used to just be like a classic baby tee short sleeve. So I just cut off the sleeves, made a little V in the neck bit. And I just love the outcome of this. I think it's such a cute top with the white on white. Love this. And I paired it with my Dickies bag as a cute little accessory. And I wore this outfit again with my Kangol shoes. Love these. I paired it with this amazing coat was from the Alexa Chung and M&S collection done years ago. And I got this as a hand-me-down from my mum recently. And I am just so in love with it. The fit is amazing. It's so warm, so sick. It's like a PVC vinyl trench coat. And I really like the way it looks with flares. So that's why I paired it with these trousers.